Dimelo, Dimelo Bo Dominican York. What's going on, everybody? What the pip is going on? Yeah, I curse, but sometimes I just don't. Anyway, today I uh, just did a short and on foot and showing the Yeezy 450 in the stone teal colorway. I have it pulled up on StockX on my desktop. I'm recording on my iPad. And these are hella comfortable. These are extremely comfortable. I usually don't say hella. No why, but instead of cursing, and you know, these are really fucking comfortable. Um, just did the on foot, and I went with a size nine and a half. So, if you're a friend of the channel, you know that I am since my teenage years a nine and a half. I am since my teenage years a nine and a half wearer ever since high school and probably before high school, probably at the end of junior high school, I was a nine and a half. Um, but uh, in the last year and a half, about a year or so, I have decided and opted to go with a size nine to get a snug foot, snug fit on foot. So when I went with Yeezys, when I go to Yeezys, I actually go back to nine and a half to give myself that little bit of room. And in a nine and a half, which I did have the utility blacks in a nine and a half, and I do have a short on the channel and on foot. When I did those uh, in a nine and a half, they fit just like this, where at first they felt perfect, and then you start to feel a little bit of snugness. So these do compress, and rem remind you, I've only worn them twice outside. That is my utility blacks before I sold them, and then now I'm gonna wear these out for the first time, so I wanted to make sure I got these uh, reviewed on the channel. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you something. I am losing the FOMO more and more every day. I am losing the fear of missing out on a shoe drop more and more every single day. I'm, I'm, I'm to the point, I might not go for the unk toes, for the UNC toes. I actually might not go for the UNC toes. I might not go for the UNC toes. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I don't think it's the most beautiful Jordan 1. I don't think it's a favorite. It's a colorway I want. It's a colorway I like, and I like the toe collar blocking, but I don't need the shoe. I got a lot of UNC colorways that I like. I just traded for the UNC 3s. I just traded for the UNC 4s. Um, I've got the UNC 5s, which I bought at a discount, 20% off at finish line. Um... I'm debating on maybe going for the chambrays, which I can get 20% off at finish line, and end up copping those for 160 bucks. And for some reason, I've really been digging the Jordan 7 silhouette on foot and comfort-wise. Comfort and believe it or not, I go to a size 9 to get that snug fit. Both of my Jordan 7s are size 9, and they fit perfect. But the star of the show today is these... Yeezy 450 Stone Teals. You got that funky footbed. Uh, honestly, I feel connected to the ground when I rock these. I really feel super connected to the ground. I, I can't wait to rock them out. I'm about to go out and do some chores. Uh, hit, we'll hit up Walmart. Hit up um, the freaking... Uh, I gotta go to somebody who can sew something, sew some patches on some jeans. Um, so I'm gonna go to a dry cleaner around here. Um, then uh, I do have to do get some car wash stuff. Uh, I've got some spots in my car after after doing some uh, edging on my front yard. I got some speckles of dirt on my hood that I see overnight have kind of dried up a bit. So I want to buy some good. Uh, car wash with ceramic uh in in the wash and uh because i know I'm, I'm gonna keep uh edging and that's gonna definitely kick up dirt but tell me what you guys think so these are to me darker in person than what i remember seeing on the pictures on the easy website when i went for them and honestly i didn't think i'd get them but i got them and i ended up getting four easy 350s the stone teals and a pair of slides for the wife. And I think I, I went for so many because I thought I'd only get a couple. And then I got pretty much 
90% of what I went for. You know, there was a couple things that I didn't get. But these things are comfy on feet. So what I was going to say that the majority of the color is stone. And I believe that that rear section is the teal. And why they call these a stone teal. Uh, I did actually tighten the laces up this time. Let's see if we can get the footbed out. Underneath there, it is not, um, what do you call it? It's not Boost. This is not a Boost technology shoe. Just feels like rubber. It's that rubber that's at the bottom. Nothing extra special. Yeezy and Adidas branding on the insole. And that's the production date. Production date is 722. So these were produced last year. And then you see on the bottom, you've got some blue padded areas in the uh, midsole, heel, and forefoot. And then kind of like a just regular cushy foam insole, but it's not that thick. So she said, so he said. But um, yeah, and now we've got an announcement that another Yeezy Day is coming out. So we've got another Yeezy Day in August, or actually uh, cons a few Yeezy Days, right? There's going to be a few days of drops. I know on one of my discords, I'm on the New York Dad Discord and a couple of others, but on the Discord, I think it was New York Dad's Discord, they posted a calendar, which they probably got off the internet somewhere. But um, I think the only thing I'm going to go for, if I go for anything at all, is going to be slides. I'm actually going to go for slides because I refuse. I bought one slide resale, and that was like 15 bucks over, over retail plus the fees. So it came out to like 100 bucks. But I, I just can't see myself paying, paying 150, 200 bucks for slides at all. You know, not when they're 70 bucks. So all the slides I got, I bought for retail except for one. But this is a really comfortable shoe, guys. I did the on foot. Go check it out. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, and I know that I'm not keeping up with the latest drops and the latest hype. Um, I've kind of just been refocusing and re energizing where I'm going to put my efforts and I'm still loving sneakers. I still love shoes. I love fashion. I love talking about fashion and sneakers and kicks, but, um, I'm not going to be buying. I'm not, I'm actually, the FOMO is gone, man. I, I I'm, I'm almost 50. I'm 48 years old and I don't fear missing out on a drop the way I did the last three years. So, you know, after that, that's me. And the channel's not paying me back to continue to buy and stuff. If I got to that point, maybe I would do that because the channel was paying for me to, you know, to go for every single drop and to review every single shoe. And I've seen that, you know, people that have started after me have surpassed me. And maybe that's because I do low budget stuff. I don't edit and I don't have a really fancy camera and I don't have, you know, any... I don't know, man. I don't have sponsors. I don't do anything fancy. Um, who knows? But I'm blessed for what I do have. I thank my 771 subscribers. I lost a couple in the last couple days. Um, but if you enjoy the channel and you want to see more, give me some give me some suggestions. I will be watching, listening, replying because I am a small channel. And we are going to hit a thousand. As a matter of fact, I actually put it in my head. I'm going to hit 10,000 on YouTube. Hopefully you're a part of that journey. Um, I will be doing different things. It's always going to be focused around fashion and sneakers, but I'm going to be doing different things too. So uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with your Uncle Bo. The Yeezy 450 Stone Teal definitely to me is a true to size cop unless you're a super wide foot because um, I'm a very normal shaped foot and the top does not bother me or the width does not bother me you know i don't feel stressed out in my in my foot by the compression uh, i actually qu quite enjoy it and um i think it's, it's an extremely comfortable shoe but i'm gonna rock it all day today and then i'll get back to you and uh leave some comments down below as to what i think of the true fit again thank you for hanging out with your uncle bo 
hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and I'll see you guys soon. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.